All right, everyone, welcome to the third episode of Changing Your Perspective World. But before I get into that, I'd just like to make a few, uh, well, comments about what I do. One, um, which you might have seen in my other videos, I don't cut, so I don't cut all the sound bites together to make a very fluent story because I want this to be natural. So um, in the future, I'm going to be doing some, maybe some lives, uh, definitely some um, interviews with people. And I don't want to be cutting out of that. So when I record this, uh, the whole of what I've recorded will be published. So you won't see any cuts because, you know, I want it to be natural. And I understand that people do cuts because... Um, you know, it makes it more fluent, but I don't like the cuts in the video. It makes it really, you know, kind of uh, a staccato thing. And I want, I want it all to be natural. So any mistakes I make, whether it be in language or whatever, you're just going to have to deal with that. So uh, the other thing I want to say is uh, thank you for viewing so far. Like I said, we're the... Um, the nature of these videos will change a little bit in the future because there's only so much I could talk about um, on my own. And I want to invite some interesting people to uh, mix it up a little bit so that we'll get a good perspective on, uh, on what we're doing here. And also, um, you know, if you speak to other people, they might have a new perspective in this whole thing. So if you like my videos, please subscribe, share. If you want, you can press the notification bell. And it's just uh, something uh, that you can do. And, um, but I like, if you subscribe, that would be enough. You don't have to, uh, you have to, don't have to watch all my videos. Although I do, advice to do so because so far it's been a, a logical order of, of many things so uh, let's get into the world bit and um well we discussed about you and them so this should give you a good well a better world view let's say because well we've seen that we create our own world and it, this makes it interesting to look at the things around you because some of the um, people and some of the actions of these people you may have not understood because of the simple fact that your perspective was very much on the other person and uh, when you encounter difficult uh difficulties around you especially with people or situations then you have to look at uh your part in this so what is uh what can i do or what do i have to do to make this work i know that there are many things that you do not um, have much influence on or so it may feel but if you change the things for yourself, then, like I said before, this information will be uh, will be incorporated in the collective, and ultimately, you're doing a lot for a lot of people. Now, one of the things is um, that's very hard for people to uh, to accept is the fact that when you're doing something for the world, you mostly do not get to see the results of that. And when you get to see the results of that, it's usually later, and you have to be very focused on that kind of uh, confirmation. Because if you want all the, um, all the things to be solved right now, and you want to see it, well, that's not how it works. It works like that for you. So if you change your own world, it'll change drastically um, almost immediately, which is easy to see. But you have to keep your perspective on this. 
uh, the, the things it does for the rest of the world, yeah, that's something you're not likely to see right away. So if you're waiting for that, once again, that's not how it works. You have to create your own reality to the best of your abilities. And that will eventually affect uh, the rest of the world. But mostly not in a way that you can see directly. I'm not saying that you can't. Just keep your eyes out. And you might find some of the things that you've been saying for many years and now ha has become a realization of, uh, well, organizations or people that seem to have more influence on whatever. And that takes time sometimes. It just takes time. Like in the other video where I talked about that, um, uh, the uh, Republican House in the United States has now um, uh, put a law on the table or a bill on the table to make a law against the IRS. And, um, well, with the goal of abolishing uh, income tax. And that's a very hard thing for many people to grasp. Because how can you be in a world without income tax. Well, the world was created. Even our uh, most recent societies were created with the idea that income tax was, ne was never supposed to be a thing because taxation was supposed to be on uh, user goods, which is, you know, uh, natural resources. That's, that's a logical thing to, uh, to tax because we have... Uh, finite amount of it, which is, well, not proven for my uh, point of view anyway. Because we're finding new uh, gas bubbles uh, frequently. We find new oil frequently. So I think there's a lot. And uh, don't get me started on the whole climate deal. So um, it's it's a logical thing that if we're all using up um, natural resources, uh, that is the kind of thing that we pay for. But are we a natural resource then? Are we user goods? So why are our services taxed? That's a weird thing. Anyway, um, the fact that they put up this idea is a, is a, a milestone of his own. Because even though many people would still say, oh, you can't do that. You cannot abolish the IRS and, and, and income tax if it's just income tax. Well, think about it. Think about it long and hard, as I have done for the past eight years and the last five years. I, I can totally see the world without... Uh, IRSs and uh, it's uh, I live in the Netherlands it's called uh, a little bit differently and uh, we also have uh, a difference in tax system but I can totally see it I think many of these things are very super fluent and um, there's some things I get like uh, you know we pay uh, what we call road tax well, roads need to be replaced. There are many things that are logical to pay for, but uh, paying on my income, I already pay on the stuff I buy. So why do I pay income tax? See, if you look at it this way, say you have a hundred dollars, right? And, um, you have $100 extra because you you got a raise or something. So you got $100 more to spend every, uh, or euros or whatever you're using every month. Okay, so then income tax. 
and then you have less than hundred dollars left and then what do you do you you fill up the, the the tank well there goes another bit of tax and then you buy some stuff there's another bit of tax and eventually you will only have active purchasing power of 25 percent of these hundred dollars so why is it where is all this money where is 75 percent of my money going it's paying people that will say they do a lot but show me so this is the world we're living in i can totally picture it without an irs i can totally picture it i pictured it for for about five years now and i i see it i see it completely and so I'd like to think that my looking at this this way and imagining this world without an IRS has eventually uh, contributed in the fact that there is now a Republican Party that has said, let's abolish the IRS. And even if it doesn't come through, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which means I'm not able to see the uh, results of my years of thinking about this. But the idea has now been planted. The idea has been planted in the heads of the many, and even the people that are very reluctant to accept it or um, are very stubborn and will say, I'll never accept this, even they are thinking about it. Because they're probably going, how does this guy, how did these guys see this? How can they imagine a world without an IRS or without income tax? And maybe they'll start thinking about it. Maybe they'll have some, some of the right epiphanies that I've had and come to the conclusion that, um, well, it's very easy to, to, imagine a world without an IRS and it's very easy to imagine a world without a lot of things and once you start seeing the things you do want what do I want in this world I think there's a the most of the people in this world they want to live together in harmony there's just a a select group that benefits from the fact that we don't. This is why we have wars. This is why we have all these these banksters accumulating everything they can get their hands on. But it's not what the general public wants. We want a world where we can live peacefully together, side by side, and help each other. And I think this is very possible. And I think that abolishment of IRSs around the world is an important is an important thing in this new world. I hate to use that new world because we've been hearing that new world order crap for it for a while now and um, it hasn't brought us much but more rules and more stuff and um, just more problems another thing I would like to discuss about this new world is the implementation to implementation of AI which is becoming uh, well, a kind of uh, a scary thing that's uh, creeping up on us. And it's creeping up on us faster than we can imagine. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work because if you look at what it has done in the past, and the past is a relative thing like I've discussed with you guys before, but uh, there have been... Uh, many societies 
that are unaccounted for because of the fact that they've incorporated AI and look this up. There's uh there's uh there are many theories about this. But the thing that um and it I said I said scary, but it doesn't really scare me because I think it's not gonna go that way. But I do see a lot of people that do not realize that they're part of the problem. Some of these guys are like, you know, with the whole uh, chat GPT or whatever uh, that is. Uh, people are saying, well, this is an empowerment to the people. I don't see it that way. I don't see how this could be an empowerment to the people because of the simple fact that if only uh, you're looking at like legal advice, you wanna you wanna put up a legal letter. All right, well this this AI can do it for you. Okay, the first problem you have is that you send out a letter that you probably don't understand yourself. So if there's somebody at the other end that does understand, oh, then it's gonna it it might turn into a problem. So. Um, you might get a question back that you're not able to answer because you didn't understand the letter you sent. How can you not? How can you not see that as a problem? You sending out letters that you don't even understand yourself—that's a problem in and of itself. Now, the other thing we should look at is, well, yeah, well, okay, so we're. Um, uh, we're, we're, we're dishing out, uh, all these things and people that are in legal professions, they become less and less important, but we're pushing out, uh, publications, whether it's letters or whatever that feed the existing system. Why were you in that position in the first place? That's the question you need to ask. Because do we need all this legal stuff or are we just bugging each other because of the, f the way we are manipulated to live? Like I said, all of us want to live together in harmony, side by side. Why is this not working? Because we're being led into a different life. And technology is one of them. So they call it empowerment, but I don't see, it. I, I, I see it totally as disempowerment because you stay in the same system and you do not accept that the thing that got you there in the first place, why you want to send out, send out a legal letter and you don't have the money to pay a lawyer. So you let uh, basically a robot figure it out for you? No, no. Go back a few steps and figure out why you were in this legal uh, conundrum in the first place. Well, mostly that's a result of how we are forced to live. And nobody really wants this, but they don't understand they don't want it because, well, we're li we, we live in a great age where we're... You know, they're, they're making all this technology for us. And things are getting easier. Things are getting easier within the system that is not easy because we don't need all that stuff. We don't need it. The whole legal thing is just because there is so much inequality and a little bit of inequality is good. Let let me be very clear about this. We need a little bit of differences because that's where our, our living dynamics comes from. We need those differences. If not, there's no reason to live. But we can do it in much more harmony than we're doing now. We're so separated. We're so focused on our machines. We're buried with our faces into screens all day, barely talk, talking to each other. Uh, you, can, you can try to make a, a joke somewhere in the shop because you still can get your 
uh, groceries at a shop. People are not are not even bothered by your joke. They're they're not even inclined to laugh because they're just presented with problems all day, problems, 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 and that type of living is what creates the need for legal advice, legal letters, that kind of thing. So we're going to make that easier. No, it's not going to be easier because we need new laws. And when we get new laws, we get this whole thing again. We need to adjust to, if anything, we need less laws and probably no laws. Because the laws that are here are mostly to protect the ones that put us in this, in this situation in the first place. So what I'm trying to say is people of the world unite. And I'm not saying get together on a square and start burning buildings. No. Unite in the sense of that you feel connected. You feel connected to anyone because we all want the same thing. And culture, that's something else. Culture is just something that is created where you live. That determines how you see things. But your, your basic values are, I want to live together in harmony with other people. Search your heart and you'll know this to be true. And then figure out how to do this. And then the people that try to prevent you from doing this will lose their privileges, privileges automatically. You don't need to fight them. You just need to create what you want and show them that it's much better than what they have in mind. And in this way, you will create your own world. And remember, you, you do it. Not them, you do it. So ignore them. Let them do whatever they want. Let them put up their CBDC. Let them put up their new laws. Let them incorporate AI and everything. You just have to do one thing. One thing. Say, this is not in my world. I'll decide how my world what my world will look like, how I would like my world to be. And then do it and find people that feel the same way and create that world. It will be so much better. And if it exists, then people will flock to it. And the whole need for all this stuff they're trying to push upon us will just simply disappear because because it has become obsolete. Let your world become yours. But do it for you, and then you can share. All right, thank you very much for listening or watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.